You've known all along that it's way too dangerous for Jake to have Jason for a father. Every choice I have made from the start was to protect Jake. Then why change anything now? Why jeopardize your own son's life by telling the whole world that Jason Morgan is his father? Lucky, we're both grieving. It's a really bad time to be making any decisions. Do you want Jake to be safe or not? Nothing is more important than the safety of my children. Then you know what you have to do. Uh, having you continue as Jake's father may not even be possible. A lot of people already know the truth. So maybe we should just let it be public knowledge and, and move on. You want to move on with Jason? Jake is going to start asking questions before we know it. I don't think I can lie to his face. You could before. What's different now? Because I saw what my lies did to you. I don't want to do that to Jake. And even you said lying to him for the rest of his life would be a terrible mistake. What? You can use all my words against me if you want. But all I hear is you want to move on with, with Jason, even if it means risking your own child's life? I can't give you the answer you want to hear. I can't tell you that I don't love Jason or that I don't want to be with him. Because I do. At least you're finally admitting it. I was wrong to marry you when I was in love with someone else. And I will always regret lying to you. No, I don't want to hear how sorry you are. The only thing I want to know is that you want to do the right thing for Jake. Okay. Okay, you want to keep a secret and continue being his father, then fine. Because yes, that would be the safest choice for Jake. You know, you didn't have to make this so difficult, Elizabeth. And you probably won't even give a damn, but I love your kids, even if they aren't mine. sorry about Emily. I didn't see you at the funeral, but I had a feeling you were there. Yeah, I heard most of the service from the past of you. But I had to get out of there because Monica asked me not to come. Well, I'm glad you found a way around that. When I was sitting at the funeral, I was thinking about Emily as a teenager. Now she'd always come over to see you. She'd be decompressing from the quarter mains or rhapsodizing about her crush on Nicholas. <laughs> and you would get this cute yet puzzled look on your face, but you would just let her talk and talk until she was finished. Then she would give you a great big hug and leave. I didn't think about it that much at the time, but I always thought you were an unconventional yet really wonderful brother. A wonderful brother would have saved her. I'm just gonna talk to Jerry about all the people who were unaccounted for at the time of Emily's death. But aren't the police fairly certain that Anthony's a car killed her? They haven't charged him yet, and now they have other suspects. Not Nicholas. Possibility. Okay, I know that he's been suffering some mood swings lately. I witnessed his rage firsthand that night, but Nicholas would never do anything to hurt Emily. Not consciously. Okay, you weren't there at the beginning of the night. They were dancing. They were so in love. I, I mean, all I kept thinking about was that they had their whole lives ahead of them, and now it's just gone. No warning. That's how it works sometimes. Yeah. You'd think I know by now that you can't take the future for granted. That one day does not guarantee the next. Thank you for meeting me. I know it's a little dramatic after all the time you've been spending at my house lately. Yeah, I won't be coming to your house again. Oh, I wasn't sure. After Lucky left, I went to find you. How much did you hear? I mean, that Lucky wants to continue as Jake's father and that you believe Jake is safer. If he does. Do you think I'm wrong? 
you know, the night of Emily's funeral, when I was with you and, and the kids came home and I helped out, that's the life I, I wanted. And I wanted to live in that house with you and the boys watch them grow up. I wanted to read to them. I wanted to teach them things. And of course, I still want that. And I'm always going to, I'm always going to want that. But I heard what you said. Having Lucky as a father was the safest choice. So I'm going to stay out of Jake's life.